Welcome back to DS Trucks. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to jack up your truck. Some of this is going to be controversial. People are going to pick and say that some of this is not right. I implore anybody who's watching this to follow the manufacturer's recommendations when it comes to lifting your truck. Nonetheless, I'm going to talk about how I lift the truck and how I've had success doing it. But you are doing this at your own risk. And if you don't feel comfortable doing this, then reach out to somebody that has experience, maybe a professional, if you need help. So anyway, this is how I lift my truck. Number one, first and foremost, with these pickup trucks, you have to understand that they're frame on body. You can't lift these by the running boards or by the body of the truck. This truck being aluminum as well, but any truck with a frame underneath it, you have to hit the frame at least. You can't jack the truck up or lift the truck up with your floor jack by putting it anywhere on the body. You can't lift on the pinch welds like on, like, like on most cars. You can just grab a pinch weld, lift it. If you try that with this truck, it's going to ruin the body. It's not going to have enough integrity to lift the truck and you'll be in a bad situation. So frame technically speaking will lift the truck the issue that you'll run into by using just the frame is you need quite a lot of lift in order to get the frame off because the frame sits so high off the ground that unless you got a real high lift jack you can actually lift up the frame lift from the frame of the truck and eventually the wheel will come off of the ground but it's gonna take a ton of lift so Inadvertently, when you're working with the floor jack, I end up using the axles, the diff, the center peg in order to lift the truck. So looking underneath here, you can see the center differential. I had to get a light so you could see, but I've lifted the truck from here before right underneath that diff. But one thing I do have to warn you is that spot, the center of the diff, is not recommended for lifting from the manufacturer so again do at your own risk i do not believe you can break this axle by lifting it there keep in mind that not every truck is going to be built as heavy duty as this super duty and maybe there's a diff under a truck somewhere that's not as heavy duty as this differential and could cause damage but uh, at the end of the day you have to kind of go by your own uh, situation in my situation I believe it's strong enough and I'm doing it and not having any problems that's not to say that you won't have problems but for me it's the quickest easiest place for me to lift the truck it's in the middle so it goes up evenly and it gives me a place to put my jack stands once i get the vehicle in the air from the factory there's different lift points that they tell you you can use so check your owner's manual for those but for me i do uh, use the center diff the reason i think they don't recommend it is if you are not careful I think you can damage your diff cover if it's hanging lower. That's the cover that keeps the oil inside of the diff. And if you're not careful with your jack and you bend that cover, you could potentially cause a leak. So uh, that's my theory on why they don't recommend it. But nonetheless, I've done it for years. I personally haven't had a problem. Your experiences may differ. But one thing to note when looking underneath here, if you see... Uh, a sway bar or anything like that don't lift the truck by the sway bar that's not a good idea and that would be that bar that goes across I just kicked with my foot it looks like a substantial piece of steel but it's not for lifting the vehicle I think you'd damage the vehicle by lifting by the sway bar so be aware of that just because it looks beefy don't be lifting on it i think it's actually a spring-loaded type of metal so it'd be very unsafe in my opinion to lift the vehicle by the sway bar so no bueno there but that's my go-to the center diff of the rear axle moving over to the front diff 
in the front end of the truck how do you lift this up so here we have the front end of the truck just for perspective I popped out so you can see where we are and this can be a little tricky because a lot of guys like to lift the truck by the front axle but the front axle is off center so if you lift there it's going to go up crooked and it's going to tip and actually be a little bit dangerous because it's going to lean one way and try to tip over to the floor jack or whatever you're using so for me i'm going to show you guys how i lift the front end let me grab a floor jack couple jack stands and i'll show you how i do it so this is where it gets a little controversial a lot of guys won't do this and i'm not telling anybody to do this but this is how i do it number one though before i lift this up again there's things that you would not want to use to lift your truck and we come up under here and you can see this bar that the floor jacks underneath i would never want to lift the truck by that that would probably damage the truck again even though this looks heavy duty it's not you wouldn't want to lift that that's the uh track bar that goes from the right wheel to the left and it essentially is your tie rod end so this truck just happens to have some giant tie, uh, tie rod ends but don't be fooled can't lift by this you'd, you'd, you'd break something so what I like to do is come right into the center of the truck and I like to use the axle tube uh, another thing I'm gonna actually turn my floor jack so that these teeth will straddle the axle but my floor jack is kind of seized up so I can't actually spin that head so I'm just gonna rotate the whole jack otherwise I come right in it I come at it straight but nonetheless when I when I run my floor jack I like to make sure my wheels on the jack are pointed toward my work so that the jack can slide so that's my point that I like to hit right there and honestly this works good because now I can swing my jack and from here I'm just gonna go straight up my teeth on the floor jack are straddling my axle and we'll see here maybe I'll break the axle maybe not but I know a lot of guys won't do this we're going up with it very quickly though you will see these tires are gonna come off of the ground <sighs> trucks heavy you can feel that weight <sighs> very quickly you can see these tires are coming off of the ground <sighs> they're up and the wheels are spinning now I can take off my tires and anything but before I do that I'm gonna want to put some jack stands under the truck so the beauty of using this spot for lifting is the trucks going up relatively evenly and my floor jacks not tipping like it would be uh, if I try to um, use a different point and I can also slide my floor jack underneath the axle now when we're dealing with these large trucks you need a you need a relatively big floor jack this is this is a four ton uh, floor jack so you want to make sure it's rated for what you're doing these are six ton jack stands good for for pickup trucks if you got a diesel you're talking a lot of weight on your front end. This truck's a gas truck, still a ton of weight on your front end. You don't want to be using the wrong size stuff. You don't want a two-ton nothing. This is a four-ton floor jack, which is kind of a relatively bigger floor jack. You can get a lot smaller. When you start to get the four tons, you're kind of walking out of the store with the biggest one in the store a lot of times four floor jack until you get into bottle jacks you start to find that the four ton floor jacks are toward the upper end as far as capacity unless you go with a bottle jack um bottle jacks those are fine i guess i've never really used them on pickups but on uh semis that's typically what's used 
I guess it would work fine for a pickup with solid axles, but I've never done it. But uh, but yeah, this allows you to slide your floor jack or your jack stand into position to be on either side. And the, and the danger or the fears or whatever of doing this is you're pretty much grabbing this axle and lifting it from the weakest point right there in the middle of the axle. That's, that's probably going to be the weakest point. All the weight has leverage over this point. And under normal circumstances, this amount of weight is never put on this part of the axle. The weight's going to be carried by your springs over here, right over its tire, or relatively close to the tire. You're never loading the center of the axle. So, you know, this, this is the weakest point of the axle, and you would hope that the axle is going to be strong enough. The reason, though, that I feel that the axle should be going to be strong enough is the fact that this is... This is some thick steel in this tube, and it's protruding into this housing a good six inches. A good six inches of, of, of uh, depth into the housing, so it's welded in place. I got three welds over here. I don't know what's in the back, probably two or three. I feel that this axle ain't breaking. But nonetheless, if you're doing this, you have to understand that my feelings aren't necessarily facts. I just, this is just how I do it. And so far, I've been pretty solid with this. So understand that if you're doing this uh, and your axle snaps, I warned you that. It's not what's recommended. There's no, there's nothing that says that you can't do this per specifically, but uh, it's something too to consider if you don't have the same truck that I have. Maybe you have a four-wheel drive solid axle truck. Maybe it's, it's an excursion or something. Excursions are real heavy, and they don't have these real heavy-duty axles. So maybe you're in a different situation. I'd have to know what's in that truck to know. But I, I do think they have a skinnier axle tube. So there, there's things to really consider if you're going to be doing this with the truck. This is a Super Duty, late model Super Duty. And they got Dana 60s in the front. And I think you'd be hard-pressed to snap up a Dana 60 doing this. But not all trucks have the same axle. Not all trucks are built this heavy. So definitely take that into account as well. So... Anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you real quick how I jack up the truck. I think I've covered all the bases. I want you guys to comment below. And if you see major problems with what I'm doing, leave it in the comment section. I'm very curious. I'm not married to my ideas. If you feel that you have a much better way, a far superior way, or are in possession of the information, then comment it below so that we all can be up to speed on the uh, information that you have but anyway guys my name is Sean this is DS Trucks thank you for watching hope to see you in the next video over and out